Well, hello there. Been a while. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Gus here. Yes, my voice is weird. This is why I have been out of the game for a while. I've been completely knocked out of the park for, what, like two months now? Which is the reason why my voice is still failing a bit, and this is closer to me, because, I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to sound too bad. But anyway, I am getting better, and at least now I can speak for, like, more than five to ten seconds without dying from exertion. Which means time to get back on the horse because the reviews are piling on we need we need to get this thing rolling starting today with two reviews at the same time which is basically one single review from this brand t-force audio new chinese brand on the market at this point not that new because these things actually arrived late last year at least the normal u1 lee and T-Force Audio actually contacted me, uh, contacted me while I was in the process of writing up the review for the U1 leasing. Hey, we're delivering, we're launching, more accurately, the U1 Leak Dark Soul Edition. It's a limited edition, limited version of it. Would you like to maybe review both of them at the same time? And I asked them, uh, dudes, is this just a reskin? Same thing, just different color, different, different looks? And they said it wasn't exactly the same thing, but it is. So basically everything aside from the cables that I talk about in today's video regarding the U1 Lee, it's applicable to the Dark Soul edition as well. But let's just get to it. They are trying, they're at least putting themselves in the really, in the thick of it. They have decided to launch at a price range that puts them squarely competing with a bunch of really heavy hitters. Because the Yuan Li is retailing for 120 bucks. You can find them like from 100 to 120, but more consistently at 120. So let's consider that. And in that area, it's like between and actually, you know, punching against the Arias, the Prometheus, the P1s, uh, kind of, because the P1s is like 160, but the Arias are like 80, so it's 40 down, 40 up. Starfields and Legacy 3s of the world, which means that they are not, they are definitely not trying to shy away from competition. But at least in price, I would say that the UN League does deliver more than enough to warrant the $120 price tag. So it's, it's doing the right thing. It's like a, a first thumbs up for the video. Now, we're going to discuss sound in a bit, but specifically, when, when you were talking IEMs, when we were talking audio equipment, audio stuff, you're paying for everything. You're not just paying for the sound quality. Obviously, sound quality is the most important aspect, but you're not paying just for that. You're paying for everything. And the Yuan Li does deliver. It delivers with a really nice packaging that comes with this sleeve outside of the box. You open the box with magnetic lids, then you get into it and there's there's the carry case, which, my opinion, humongous. It's like ridiculously big. You can fit three different IMs with the cables in this thing. So this is just too big. It's a nice carry case. It's just too big. But anyway, you have a very nice, very well-rounded presentation of the IEMs right there in front of you. And they look pretty. They look good. Both versions look really good. Personally, I'm going to sound like a heretic right now to the you know, Matt Black Everything crowd, which I am a like proud member of. But I actually do like the normal U and Lee better. Not just because of the IEMs, but because of the cable. The cable is so much nicer. The cable of the Yuan Li Dark Soul Edition is actually a special one because the Dark Soul Edition is sort of a collab with TAC or TA cables, like a tack to cable here. This this is supposed to be like a special kind of cable specific, and, and the normal one's better. They're not the normal one is better, and I actually think that it's it. it complements the whole thing a little bit nicer it's it just looks looks better to me you take out the ims from the box and you're presented with a little tray with different sets of silicone tips in different sizes plus foam tips they're like dome shaped and they're interesting and they sound good this package another thumbs up so thumbs up on the price thumbs up on the build and on the presentation and because of how big the nozzle on this thing is i was wondering what the hell are they using for drivers 
Well, they're using single dynamics, 10 millimeter dynamics on each ear. So simple driver, which again, we discussed this on my previous video, you don't need multiple drivers to actually tune something to sound good. You want to use another example of that, which also means it should be really easy to push. So in terms of power, it's again another thumbs up because you don't really need anything special to drive them. You can plug them into your phone and you're good to go. But if you give the Yuan Li more power, it sings better. It doesn't need power to perform well, but if you give it more power, it kind of does. Maybe it, it could have been placebo effect, but I tested it across the board with six different amps and DACs, and every time that I give it more power, it does tend to bring something extra out of the whole sounding experience. So I would say that it's great that you can use it with whatever, but if you have a dedicated setup that can push it a little bit further, it will go a little bit further. And to just close it off, let's talk about sound bend. Well, they are balanced. They're not super flat sounding, but they're almost, they're, they're trying to be something that you would be able to use even as a monitor. It has a good presentation and good amount of detail in the low end. It has a nice pre presentation, but it's not too sparkly on the high notes. And the mid range is a little lackluster and it's not a complete letdown. It's not terrible for vocals, let's say. It almost sounds like it's subpar compared to itself, which is super weird. But overall, they are a really enjoyable pair of IMs. You can just put them on your ears and listen to stuff for hours and you're fine with it because, well, it sounds fine. On the low end, it doesn't have as much punch as the Aria. It's not going to slap you across the face, but it has depth and definition and resolution and it has a more well-defined and more controlled and better detailed representation of the low end, even if the sub bass isn't all that present. In the higher notes of the treble, it's not as sparkly, but it has energy, while not being way too shiny in your face. <coughs> while not being way too shiny in your face, which is again really good to have. This all means that the overall presentation is balanced enough that it's going to be smooth and fun to listen to for longer listening sessions. Because of that, actually, I have heard people saying that these things are akin to a blonde BL03, but on steroids, like, and I disagree. It does have the warmth and it's a tad energetic, but it's definitely nothing like a BL03. It at least doesn't sound like an 03 f to me. The soundstage is, a, it's closer. It's like much closer than the 03. Instrument separation isn't all that great. Like it's, it is there and it has, has a certain depth, but it's not as well defined as I would expect. It's not as energetic as something like the 03 at all. And it doesn't color the songs. It doesn't color what you're listening to as much. The only thing that it does, at least to my perception, is add a little bit of warmth, like a little bit of warmth to what you're listening to. And the vocals, specific, specifically and more prominently female vocals, are a little more recessed, like ever so slightly. So comparing it directly to the Aria at 40 bucks below, the UNLE is better in some areas, probably not going to sound as exciting in others. In conclusion, let's, let's just wrap it up. For 100 to 120 bucks, the UNLE is a viable option, especially at 100 and like T-Force is probably not going to be too thrilled with me saying this, but instead of going for 120 at the normal one, unless you're like me and you actually enjoy this visual more than this one, which is my case, I like this visual more than this one, but still, if you're like, if, if you're okay with either, why pay 120 when you can get the same thing for a hundred? That, that's your choice, but that will be the ideal choice. So yeah, the you want lease? definite thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but first and foremost, thank you. Thank you for one, waiting around, because I mean, I've been out for like over a month, so thanks for waiting, and two, thanks for not tuning out instantly, because I know, listening to someone with this kind of voice and all this crap going on, not that pleasant, but really, thanks for sticking around with me. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video, thank you a lot for watching, but that's been it. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, the shores of hell I was